I think many of you have have seen this um, this model. I'm going to put it up, but this isn't the one I'm going to refer to particularly. So, so one of the ways I sometimes talk about human beings <laughs> is we are all diamonds. Like at our soul, we are perfect. We are of in, inherent value. We are beautiful. We are solid. We are the strongest material in the universe. Covered in horseshit. <laughs> the horseshit of all our thinking and habits and psychology. And then carefully coated in nail polish <laughs> so that nobody will notice what's underneath. Right? And it's a it's a decent. You know, you get to know people. It's like, oh yeah, there's the the self, the, the presented self. Oh, how lovely! They seem like such a nice person. Oh, they're they're very funny. I'd hate to be there when the laughter stops. Oh, they're you, you know, and you 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 have all these kind of personas, these facades, these personalities, these winning strategies, these ways of presenting in the world that people have figured out work as well as they can figure out. And underneath that, you get to know the person a little, and you're like, oh man wow, there's a lot going on under there, and it is not mostly pretty, right? And there's there's all that. But we often, you know, I, I, I know people go, oh, I see right through them. And what they mean is I see through the nail polish to the bullshit. But if they really saw right through them, they would see through the bullshit to the diamond. So is there going to be bullshit under the persona? Of course there is but there's a diamond under the bullshit. Now, here's another way of looking at it. You, this you, we're going to meet. We're going to get to know. There's some things that are true about you. You are perfect, whole, and complete. You are not broken. There is nothing wrong with you. You are made of the energy of life. You are made of the intelligence of life. I'm going to use a phrase that has biblical implications, but if you put them aside, it's just a good description. You are the light of the world. You are lit from within. That's who we are. That's who we all are at core, underneath, before any of the personas, before any of the life experiences, before any of the thoughts, you are light. And if you've ever questioned that, go meet a baby. And you will see it. Not in the moment that they're wet and hungry, but in every other moment, <laughs> you will see it. Okay. Well, so why isn't this obvious? Right? Why are we so sure that we're not perfect. We're, you know, we're not done. We need to do work on ourselves where, you know, there is a few things wrong. We are a little broken. Like, why does that look true? Well, it looks true because there's a whole layer of experiences that we've accumulated from birth that we refer to and make meaning of. There's, there's this layer of habit, habitual ways of being and thinking and feeling and doing. There's this whole layer of thoughts and feelings. There's this whole layer of meaning and interpretation. So if this inner layer is you, this next la layer is the story of you.
Uh, well, you see, the thing is, you know, I have experienced this and I've been through this and I'm the kind of person who this and I can't this and, you know, here we go again. Here's another chapter in the story of, right? You all familiar with that? I mean, in other people? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then there's this, this other layer, right? And this layer can also be part of the story of us. But it's more the story of our life. And these are the circumstances. These are the circumstances we're in. The circumstances we were in. Um, they're, uh, you know, it's our um, where we live or lived, you know, how we've lived, what we do, what we have. You know, it's it's money, it's relationships, it's the stuff of life. Now, when we meet people, we tend to meet them at this outer layer first. Like if I was to, you know, traditionally ask you to do a little icebreaker and, and meet each other, you'd come away going, oh, well, this is Michael. He's from Germany. He does this. He plays piano. His net worth is right. Whatever, you, you, you know, <laughs> relationship single ladies, um, you know, you know, you know, we, 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 you know, we, we would describe him at the level of circumstances. Oh yeah. I know Michael. He's the piano guy from Germany. Right now, if, uh, not so much as an exercise, but we hang out at the bar after after class. We hang out over coffee in the breaks. We get to know each other over the next set, seven months. We go, oh my God, did you hear what he went through when he was a kid? And 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 oh man, you know, have you noticed that he does this thing with his beard? And um, you, you, you know, I I think deep down, I think deep down, he's sad. <laughs> right? Like we would just create a story of Michael, and now now we think, oh, now I really know him, right? But in fact, none of that is him. That's the story of him. That's the story of his life, the story of him. In any moment, we'll catch glimpses of his life. We'll catch glimpses of his aliveness, of his humor, of his heart, of his sparkle. That's him. 